English Avenue on Atlanta's historic west side is coming back to life. This is big right here. Drugs have for years plagued the neighborhood nearby known as the bluff. We've covered police as they, they work to stop the dealers. And Channel 2's Wendy Corona visited the area where abandoned homes outnumber those where people actually live. That is about to change. One day it's going to be beautiful. I walked English Avenue with Joan Vernon. She moved her family here 10 years ago. At that time, there were tags on every house. Blocks of abandoned homes, some boarded up, most not. A lot of homeless neighbors, um, people in need of housing and options. I knew eventually the neighborhood would turn around, um, and I was willing to wait it out. Joan got involved in the Neighborhood Association and with the Westside Future Fund. The mission, the goal, the vision is all aligned with what we want as residents. For people with ties to the west side to come back to live in its historic neighborhoods. 50,000 people used to live on these blocks. Now, barely 15,000 do. What you see in the colors is indicating different different owners of single-family lots. John Allman is president and CEO of the West Side Future Fund. Quietly, it's purchased 80 lots to repopulate blocks of affordable single-family homes to be built with community partners. We've accumulated enough lots to really now begin to activate what we what we hold. Home on the West Side will offer down payment assistance to affordable housing with a preference to people with ties to the West Side. People who work there, go to school there, graduated from the Washington cluster. People who once called it home can do it again. Being able to, to stick it out and see, you know, the residents that were West Siders return, the residents that are currently here stay, that's a big part of why I'm here. Wendy Corona, Channel 2 Action News. And if you want to apply, we posted a link to the application on our website. Just go to WSBTV.com and click on links mentioned right here on Channel 2. This Hall County Church will have to hold services somewhere else after deputies say a woman set it on fire.